Unfortunately for us right now, here with the Pistons, this is a down moment. And in these down moments, that's when you really need the fans to really stick by you. Because at some point in time, it will turn around. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Got a little bit of a situation going on here. Rita's birthday was yesterday, as you probably already heard. Pops' birthday is today. You didn't expect to see Pops with me, did you? Has Pops ever been on this? I don't think so. My connect hit me up that works for the Pistons, and he was like, Anton, you want to come and kick it with Isaiah Thomas? Taste his new champagne. Do a meet and greet here at the new Pistons Performance Center, which is the new Pistons headquarters. Sure, why not? I don't have anything better to do. Anything that's happening today is happening right down here. Wonder how long it's gonna be before we see these again. <laughs> or see another one of them. We'll see them soon. No drumming, no Jackson. We got some open gym runs going in here. Yeah. Wow. So we have, uh, we all know it's about 190,000 square feet. Is it that big? That's yeah, huge. I didn't know if he did here. I, th no, I know he, he did. did. Here. Okay. He did here. He did here. Um, he did. Uh, I've seen him do a block room that I've ever like imagined he's done. Really? Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah, yeah but you're right. There is definitely a trend of facilities like this from a free agent aspect for us. Like definitely youth and development, having our business side or basketball side. This place um, is awesome. Uh, in the same room. Uh, all the basketball coaches' offices, our war room, draft room. That's all on. All up there. On that side over there, like that. That top left corner uh, is the draft room. Uh, Coach Casey's office is right down here. Who gets to work out over there? Pretty much all the all the players. If ball is life, then you definitely want to. Um... There he is. Unfortunately for us right now, here with the Pistons, this is a down moment. And in these down moments, that's when you really need the fans to really stick by you. Because at some point in time, it will turn around. And when it turns around, uh, where's my man that was with me at the Silver Dome? Where you at? That ride from the Silver Dome to the palace, it was, a, it was quite a journey, but it was a long journey. And the fans who stayed with us and stuck with us we truly needed your prayers and your cheers along the way because as you know, you don't win championships by yourself. It always takes the community. It always takes people giving you encouragement, not when you're up, but truly when you're down. So this is an experience that I think I'm gonna have to actually sit down and do a deeper dive when I get back to the creative space. I mean, it was absolutely awesome. I learned a lot about Sherlon Champagne and the champagne industry in general. Yeah, let's get back to the crib and do a deeper dive. It's advanced hey, Pops, what are your thoughts on uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, experience today? I thought it was informative. I feel like it is a really cool dude. What are you doing over there, buddy? I'm writing facts on the board. Anton. What facts are you writing? I don't know yet. You're um, writing facts. You just don't know what they are yet. I have so many in my head. Oh yeah, it's Les's birthday too. Yeah, it's Les Les, we like them glasses. Thank you. Anyway, so I think it's important for me to just break down what my experience was or what my thoughts are. There's a lot of the conversation, obviously, that I didn't capture. You gotta enjoy the moment. I always say this, and I'm, I'm just gonna continue to emphasize this with you guys. But the one thing that I wanna emphasize about Isaiah Thomas, dude is real. Like, you know how you can have conversations with people and you can tell like they faking it? or are they selling you something? Yeah, sales is a part of everything that you do. You're always selling yourself, even to your chick. You gotta sell to her. Why well, it's important for her to do the dishes today. No, I'm just kidding. Not funny. I guess the point that I'm making is that, like, even the conversations that we was having about the current state of the NBA or whatever he was saying about the Pistons and things like that, like, he was just real. He even said it a couple times, like, listen, I know management can't tell y'all that. He said, don't put that on video. Don't put him saying. 
he said, don't put him standing on video. And I'm not going to say exactly what he said, honey, but can I please do my breakdown? <laughs> Thank you. When he started to talk like that, it reminded me that the dude has been a coach and he has been an executive throughout the NBA. But we had extensive conversations and uh, he also talked about his champagne. That was the part that I was really interested in. I know it would seem as though, you know, we would be interested in what he was saying from a basketball perspective. And obviously we were. The really educational part came from his new champagne that he has. And I've been following him for a while, which I think it's called Sherlon Champagne. Ain't that what it was called? Yeah. He's a hundred percent owner of that champagne, which I didn't know that. I thought he was just like, 50-50 owner or whatever like that, but he owns 100% of the company. And then in addition to that, he was emphasizing the process and how certain champagnes are made and how here in the United States, we're getting second and third pressed grapes, which is not as high of a quality, but it's emphasized that Americans love sugar. So they fill it up with a bunch of sugar. You know, when women drink it, they get a headache a lot of times. When men drink too much of it, they want to throw up. Not his champagne, but when they drink too much champagne in general. The way, the quality in champagnes are not what we think they are. The color that comes from it comes from, you know, additional work that's being done to it, pouring red wine, all of this other type of stuff. But he was just emphasizing how, you know, the quality in his stuff. What are y'all whispering about back there? What are y'all doing? What are y'all talking about? The quality in his stuff, and it was really, really good. Like it was smooth. It was an educational process. I'm not gonna pitch it because, I mean, I think it's a great champagne. It'll probably be the only champagne that I, I'm i drinking from here on out, especially now that I have a better understanding of what it is that I'm drinking. However, the information is out there. Obviously you guys know that I'm a Piston season ticket holder and we spent a lot of money. Of course, throughout the process, I'm being pitched to make sure that I renew my season tickets and things like that. I'm looking forward to more games, especially since Andre Drummond is gone and Reggie Jackson's contract is... Listen, I said this at the beginning of the year. But anyway, the Pistons and I have a love-hate relationship. I don't know, man, that Andre Drummond, something else. I pray to God they don't get his due to max contract. For a while, they've been pretty bad. And it's almost like I want them to be good but I'm not gonna subject myself to the pain that Detroit Lions fans have subjected themselves to. But I said it at the beginning of the year, obviously that I wanted Andre Drummond gone. Like that contract is a monstrosity. We don't need him opting in for another year. I'm glad that Cleveland has him. Good luck with that. Fun times is gonna be a very, very interesting weekend. I appreciate you guys for going on a journey with me. Who's whispering? Leslie, I heard you. <laughs> What's going on back there? Happy birthday, Leslie. Happy birthday, Pops. They're twins. Not really, but they was born on the same day. I appreciate y'all. Holla at me at antidaniels.com. Peace.